Hey, hopefully the lighting doesn't suck too much. It's uh, 9 p.m. I've been working long, long days consecutively. This is the time that I have to make a video. And this video is going to be, believe it or not, a haul video. This is gonna be um, the stuff that I pick up when my bins are full, I have a death pile, and I'm cherry picking the really, really excellent stuff. This is this is the stuff that's like hole in one, no brainer, complete clean headshot, like no scope. This is the stuff that I don't have to worry about really at all selling. Almost no part of me is worried that this stuff will not sell as long as I price it right. And I'll show you what I got. So here's item number one. I'll show you what I got, he says in the haul video. It's a FootJoy polo that is cross-branded with Titleist. I thought that was Fitleist <laughs> before I was a reseller. Uh, it's Titleist and FootJoy slash Titleist to my memory and hopefully not faulty memory. Oh, we got some, some weird like John Carpenter lighting going on here. So FootJoy, if you look on the tag, that's the size right there. This is a FootJoy large polo. I typically don't buy FootJoy polos if they're priced up. For example, today at the same thrift store, there were probably five just plain FootJoy polos in good condition and they were, I think, six bucks each and I just passed on them. Because um, I haven't, uh, I should have looked up the sell for numbers, but FootJoy polos were kind of sitting for me for a little bit and this was that much but the Titleist pushes it over the edge to being kind of a no-brainer. Titleist is a golf presumably brand. So you get two two markets right there, two different search terms. I also picked up a suit. So suits I love selling a lot of people just don't want to bother with the hassle of all the measurements and the shipping. Once you get it dialed in and once you acquire the knowledge about suits, it's a great niche to sell in because the suit section is very rarely picked over. It's sort of like glassware. People just don't want to deal with the hassle. So if you can identify the good stuff and if you can stomach pricing it way down to expedite the sale to get a quicker flip out of it, suits are great. Um, <clears throat> Um, that's been my strategy, and I've probably said this two dozen times on this channel, but I like getting a really nice expensive suit like this, and I'll break the suspense and tell you what it actually is in a second. Really, really nice expensive suit. This might have cost, you know, multiple, multiple hundreds of dollars. It did cost multiple hundreds of dollars, and it was new. Maybe a thousand. I don't know how much these actually retail for. I'm going to list it for around a hundred, probably 99 flat. That's my suit price. And... I, I mean, I'll look at the market before I jump, but most people are going to go through all the hassle of photographing the suit and listing it, taking all the measurements, describing it, and they're not going to want to price it at 100. They're going to want to price it at 250 or what they think they can possibly potentially get for it. The suit market has been depressed since the beginning of COVID. People don't want to give you 250 bucks for a suit most of the time, but something that's really ritzy like this that people think you made a mistake on because it's so undercut it's so underpriced that becomes a quick flip i've had reasonably good luck doing that this cost 15 bucks which is an absolute steal for what it is and there it is ermenegildo zenia trofeo <clears throat> excuse me trofeo this is their top of the line suit Brand, brand, hello again. Um, the Trofeo, anything is worth picking up. I actually have a suit from a different brand, this trash brand that I've never heard of. I think it's like Milano or some, some like nonsense brand, but it has the Zanio Trofeo fabric on it and it's already getting like a lot of questions and watchers, etc. So an actual authentic, Zania Trofeo suit in a really desirable color. This is kind of a Czech wool navy. It's fairly recent. This is a slam dunk. So 100 bucks, it'll be out the door within a month, I would say. That's a pretty quick flip for a suit. If I price it up like 150, 200, it may sell eventually. 
150, 200 might actually be undercut enough on the actives that I could I could get away with doing that and expediting and, and expediting it in the same way. It's all about what the numbers are going to tell me and tell you. I also looked at the slacks section, which I rarely do, and I was kind of on the lookout for really, really bougie, higher dollar stuff, rare stuff, and sometimes dress pants like the suits will not be picked over. So Calme des Garçons is a French brand, obviously, that mostly is known for streetwear these days. I think they're the brand that has the, the like heart with the eyes logo. I hope that's right, because I'll sound really dumb if it's not. But this is a more vintage pair of dress slacks. These have very low sell-through but occasionally sell in the multiple hundreds. And the Actives right now bought them out at 67 bucks. That's the cheapest that you can get a pair of Comme des Garçons pants. And these are getting listed at 50 bucks. So this will be, so Comme des Garçons is a French brand, obviously, that mostly is known for streetwear these days. I think they're the brand that has the, the like heart with the eyes logo i hope that's right because i'll sound really dumb if it's not but this is a more vintage pair of dress slacks these have very low sell through but occasionally sell in the multiple hundreds and the actives right now bought them out at 67 bucks that's the cheapest that you can get a pair of comme des garçons pants and these are getting listed at 50 bucks so this will be the cheapest pair available on ebay that is how you defeat the low sell through in my experience obviously opinions vary opinions in the comments section will vary wildly but this is how i like to sell rarer stuff and more expensive stuff because i got these for i don't know probably five or six bucks so who really cares if this was a pair of levi's no one would uh, pull their hair out over me listing it for 50 bucks. But because there's the potential to get one or 200, it's more emotionally difficult as a reseller to price it that way. That was all for that thrift store. Total was 27 bucks. So if you don't have the rock solid confidence of a clothing warrior in the way that I do, uh, if you don't know how to identify this really, really low hanging fruit just by looking at it. If you don't have the brand knowledge, if you want to borrow my brain, I have taken the pains to actually set it down in a Google doc that is available in the description to the video. It's I think 300 brands. If I remember accurately, that might not be accurate. It's a bunch of brands. It's like the majority of my knowledge when it comes to selling men's clothing. It's called the Menswear Manifesto. It's free, so you can download it. Uh, not download, you can access it. You can download it. Most people use it online on their phones. Uh, and it breaks down all of these brands by category within eBay. So for example, a brand, um, let's, say, let's say the brand Marmot, which is kind of a mid-tier brand now nowadays like an outdoor brand uh, the manifesto will tell you for example like t-shirts are in really high demand and jeans aren't are in low demand and then i i will give my notes on each individual brand based on my experience with selling it so it is free it slash pay what you want so if that's something you think you'll get value out of which you probably will then consider donating something for it uh, or if you use it and you do get value out of it, it makes you money, then uh, I ask that you circle around and buy me a coffee or repurchase the manifesto. But it's up to you. If you just want to use it for free, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, so the link is in the description. Then I stopped at a Goodwill that was nearby. Goodwills in my area, I live in California, are outrageously gouge priced, uh, more than in LA where I used to live. I think there's a couple other places, like San Francisco is worse, but I've never been anywhere personally with worse prices than our Goodwills here. And I got a big bag. Oh shit, there. Uh, that's really good stuff. I got a pair of shoes for myself. That doesn't count. I got this thing, which is a new brand. This is going to go in the manifesto. Beyond Tactical. 
look that up. The comps will impress you. This was $9. I think this is probably worth around 40 or 50 if I had to guess, if I price at market. Certainly 35 will flip. And um, really strong numbers. Some of the beyond tactical or beyond clothing tactical pieces sell for up to 200 bucks. I still look stuff up that's unfamiliar to me all the time. In fact, the more experience that you get with clothing reselling, the more of a Rolodex of brands that you have mentally, uh, the easier it is actually to identify stuff that's truly rare or potentially valuable. So the stuff actually leaps out to me more now and I spend uh, almost as much time on my phone now. Well, that's not true. I spend a lot of time on my phone when I'm sourcing still because when you find this, the thing like that that has the quality feel and you've never heard of it before, that imputes to, or computes to, I guess, value potentially. This is one of my truly favorite brands to resell, Salt Valley. Usually the tag will say Salt Valley Western and it'll be a pearl snap shirt. This is just a standard button shirt, which you see less frequently, but every single Salt Valley shirt I've ever bought has sold and has sold quickly within two months without fail. There has been, I think, not a single exception to that rule the entire time I've been a reseller. This is one of the easiest flips that you can make in clothing selling as long as you don't price it over 30 bucks. This was seven. I'll put this up for probably 22 to 25 and it'll sell. Even though it's small, small sell, extra smalls sell. This is a really weird one. It looks like Patagonia, but it isn't. It is Kurdagonia, as in Kurdistan, as in the Kurds, and it has this on the back. It's a nothing brand. This is not Patagonia branded. I almost just passed on this because I'm in this, this frame of mind of I don't want to take a single risk. But this is 2XL through on eBay. I did look it up. So even though I've never seen this before, and even though I don't want to buy based on hunches, eBay has told me that this is something that people really want a lot. And it was $5. Should flip for around 20 Here's a shirt. Keep Texas Tactical, 511 Tactical, who the hell knows what that even means. It was three bucks, 511 Tactical is just an easy brand to flip. It's not 100% guaranteed that you'll sell it quickly, but it's just a really, really solid bread and butter brand. And as long as you don't overprice it, it should flip fairly well. It's, it's hard, I, I'm always, Tempted. I always end up overpricing the new with tags 511 tactical stuff that I find which is a bad habit I have to stop doing it. Here's a good bolo. I think this was in one of my videos a while ago It's alpha elite as in Athlete Which is already pretty alpha and then al alpha. So al if you're a true alpha You can wear this This compression shirt here, it, 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 it's like uh, the still suit in Dune. It just harnesses all of your testosterone and you, it just, you, you smell your own pheromones when you're in the gym, I guess. I think this should flip pretty easy for 25 bucks. It cost five. Sorry, sorry if my skull is cut off on the top. I need to get a new tripod. Got another pair of shoes for myself, much needed. Great brands, untuck it. The untuck it numbers, are kind of all over the map. Like Untuck It used to be way over 100% sell through just on a brand level, but it's it's dropped since COVID because they do a lot of dressier, more office oriented clothing. But I always pick it up and I never have a problem selling it. So the Untuck It t-shirts are great sellers and this cost five bucks. I'll probably not make a ton of money on this, but I just, I know that it will sell a hoodie from uh, Darth Robbins. It's not Robbins branded. He makes hats that have clovers on them. I've never found one when I'm thrifting and sourcing, but I assume those sell really well. I don't know if there's a house brand or if this is, if someone was just selling this outside of a uh, Date With Destiny event, 
like a uh, someone flipping Little Wayne shirts outside of a concert. But I, this this was I take it back. This was the one risk that I took because just raw, pure reseller instincts told me that that is going to sell, even though zero actives, zero solds. So there's no reason for me to believe that other than a hunch. But hunch I did. Robert Graham are relatively safe. They become less safe with time. So I've issued this warning a few times on this channel. This was nine bucks. But Robert Graham shirts are a little bit overhyped. Don't get your expectations up that you're gonna be able to flip it easily for like 45, 50, 60 bucks. Some of the rarer shirts, the limited edition, special edition shirts, or the ones with like really crazy patterns, yes, you can price those up. And of course you can price any Robert Graham shirt up as high as your little reseller heart desires. But just based on my disposition, this is getting listed for probably between 30 and 35, maybe. Possibly, you know, probably 30 is, is the floor of where I'm willing to go on a Robert Graham, especially when it costs nine bucks. It's another Robert Graham and it's a different line. So Robert Graham has sub lines within it. This is Modern Americana, if you couldn't read that. And I've flipped one Modern Americana, Americana shirt before. It was new with tags, but I seem to recall that Modern Americana did pretty well compared to just standard Robert Graham shirts. And that's a pretty understated one, actually, for Robert Graham. Thankfully it was cheaper, it was seven. So this might be more in the 30, solid 30 range. Last item, if I could find only one brand to resell from thrifts, it would be this brand, I think. Arcturix is, I mean, I'm, if you watch the channel at all, you probably know about it. It's like Patagonia times three. It's outdoor oriented clothing with a fan base to rival the Grateful Dead. It is just effortless to flip. Seven bucks, any time at all that you run into this brand, just pick it up. Even if it has flaws on it, I barely even screen this at all. It just doesn't matter. The demand is so high and something like this is gonna sell for more money. That is, I think, an Archaeopteryx, which is what the brand gets its name from. That's the emblem or the logo. That's the name. Memorize it. I assume this will sell for 40 at least and it'll probably sell really quick. This is perfect. Perfect weight, perfect warmth, perfect color, perfect timing for the fall. Slam dunk, find of the week. So that's how you beat Goodwill. So 82 bucks minus 18 for the shoes. If you find any of that stuff, you have my blessing. You have my YouTuber's blessing to pick it up as long as it's not crazy overpriced and flip it and you should be happy with the results. Thanks for watching.